Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Arch Linux. Now this series is completely unstripted, <laughs> uncut, and there are plenty of mistakes in it. And it's basically my adventure within Arch Linux. I give myself tasks and I try to complete them. Last episode I wanted to do a little bit of customization with Conky, um, and on the screen you can see that I've got like little ripped desktop. It's a cool thing. Check out the last episode if you want to find out how I did that whole conky ripped desktop with the time and CPU monitoring thing and all that stuff. So that's what I did last time. Now this time my goal is to do some torrenting. I'm going to download some files. First of all a torrent kind of downloader and then download some files with a torrent. Legal files. Okay? Torrenting is not all illegal files, you can do legal torrents with legal files, so that's what we're going to do in this episode. Uh, after that, I may even do something else, so possibly the printer, so stay tuned for that. Okay, we're on the air, I'm just going to open the GU... I always have trouble with this program. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and say its name. GUVC Video. Okay, there we go. I always used to call it um, G-U-C rather than G-U-V-C. I don't, I don't know, it's hard to say G-U-V-C. I'll just put myself at the bottom corner for a change. Now, let's see. What I want to do just to start off the episode is see Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, Pong and all this stuff. I've just noticed that I can't actually get these working without these icons. So I'm going to try and drag these icons into a folder. So... Let's see if I can just create a new folder called Desktop Icons. Desktop Icons, there we go. And I'm going to just try and drag, drag and drop. Fantastic, it works. Okay, so, um, by the way, sorry about... Uh, it's hard to see because I've kind of made this really, really, really transparent, as you can see. So, because it's so transparent, these little, like, where it says desktop icons at the top, it's almost hard to see when it's, like, you know, on the rocks or in a certain place. I don't know, I just find it a little bit hard to see. So, I'm just going to close that now, and we're going to try and look for a torrent program. So, we'll open up Firefox, and I'm just going to keep an eye on that, because it has had a few problems um, in the past where it hasn't recorded, although I'm pretty sure that's to do with me probably pressing Control plus R accidentally. Anyway, let's open list of applications. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm going to look for a torrent type of application. So let's see if I can find one. Let's see, torrents, 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 torrents. Let me see if I can Control F, torrent. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I don't like console stuff. I'm always a person who hates console applications. Sorry, <laughs> but I do. Now we've got FatRat, Qubit Torrent, and Tribbler. Okay, I think I might go with... I've, I've never used any of these. If you wonder what I use in Windows for legal torrent files, I use uTorrent, okay? Um, I'm not into illegally downloading and pirated software and stuff, just in case you're wondering. Um, Qubit Torrent strongly resembles uTorrent, so because of that I'm going to probably get this so I'm familiar with it. So let's try that. I'm going to open the terminal. Can you use Control T? No, to open terminal, no. Okay, terminal. The reason I'm saying Control T to open terminal is that's because what I use in Shift OS to open the terminal, and I'm just so used to, yep, Shift OS, Control T, open up the terminal. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get sudo pacman dash s. Sorry, I'm not using the graphical this program just because it's easy to just type what I want. I don't. Okay, that's quite contradicting. Wait, let me just get this and then I'll tell you why that was contradicting. So the reason it was contradicting... Oh, okay. I'm going to need to do the yowt qubit torrent. Oh, wait. Yowt. Oh, okay, there we go. One, there you are. Uh, basically, in case you haven't seen any previous episodes, the reason... 
uh, Pacman-S didn't work in this case is because this program, this BitTorrent client, was not, QBitTorrent in this case, was not on the official repositories. It was on the AUR, the Arch user repository. Um, packages from the AUR require different methods of getting them, so Pac-Man doesn't work. I'm just using the Yowit or Yowit, whatever you want to call it, method, which is a program that can actually get things from the AUR. Edit, no, continue, yes. Yes. Now, with the whole downloading illegal files, it's so dangerous these days. It's like $250,000 per copyrighted material. A mum, not my mum, a random mum, I think in Texas or something, downloaded 24 songs and had to pay a $1.5 million fine for the 25 songs. So you're, you're screwed, okay? So that's why I don't get into that kind of stuff. Now... It's this building the package here. Now, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a legal torrent. Now, there's a movie called The Tun the Tunnel, and it's a completely free movie. Um, the movie is free because it was, I don't know, a Kickstarter movie or something. And it's a completely free, free mo movie. I've seen it, and it's good. Um, and they do make money by saying, oh, buy a frame of the movie, your own personalised frame, and stuff like that. But it is a really, really, really good movie. But it's set in um, Sydney, Australia, and I live right near Sydney, so it was fun to kind of look at it, and it was really... I could relate to the movie. Wait, let me just download it. Um, how do you... How do you download this movie again? <laughs> Um, about videos, where do you watch it? Because I know there's a place where you can watch it. Can't remember where you can watch it. Ah, see it. There we go. Okay, how's this going? Ah, oh, hurry up. <laughs> okay, so see it how you want to choose. You've got DVD, grab a hard copy and you can pay for that. Uh, Voodoo. So this is, um, you can download, I think, yeah, Vodo, Vodo, Voodoo, I don't know what you call it, but you can actually download this torrent version and it's completely free. Um, Vodo.net, as far as I remember, is you can download all these movies for free and you can donate and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good free movie site and it is legal. All these movies that are put up here are movies that are made like you know for free to watch for free it's not like you won't find um i don't know the first movie for some reason that popped into my head was the hobbit you won't find movies like that or star wars or the time machine from 2002 you won't find any of those movies those movies aren't even my favorite movies so i don't know why those ones the butterfly effect there's one i actually like um movies like that you won't find on this website so i'm going to click watch now but I can't exactly get it till I get this torrent file downloaded so what I also want to do is I want to get my printer working and my printer is a Canon MG6150 so I want to try and get that working so I'm gonna now type in Arch Linux printer driver oh, I don't know this is gonna be a disaster Cups. Okay, so this is Cups. I don't even know what Cups is. I've just heard of it, and I heard it's got something to do with printing. As of Cups version 1.5.33, Arch Linux makes use of the new PDF. Okay. Install. So I want to get the package libcups. is the only required package. Okay, so it's from the official repositories. Um, it is also possible to run an entire Cups-based browser. Okay. To discover unknown shared printers in your network. This can be useful in large setups where the server is unknown. The printer driver. Okay, so you've got to choose one of these. Collection of high quality drivers from Canon. Okay, so what we might try and do is we might try and get like gut <laughs> Guten, Guten Print. That's like German, Guten, Guten Tag, Good Morning. So I'm guessing that's a German person's made that up. Okay, so let's let's just try that. We're gonna get so the main thing. Where is it? Oh, I'm losing it. So I want to get libcups, 
and then I want to get this Guten print. Now if I try to print something currently, I'm pretty sure I can't. So let me just open a B word. This program, cube BitTorrent from the AUR, is, ta is a nightmare. Why is it taking so long to install this? Okay, anyway. Let's try and print that. Control, print. Oh, wow. Is this actually ready to print or something? Okay, there we go. It's almost finished. What? Print to file. Ah, uh, okay, so it's doing PDF. So, yeah, it's not detecting the printer. So, yeah, we'll sort that out at the end of the video. Um, continue installing. Yes. Uh, and then put in my password. Yes. There we go. Finally. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, as soon as this is done, we're going to start getting these programs. So I'm going to need to do libcups. Okay, here we go. sudo pacman s libcups. Yes. Okay, and now that I've installed that, that was fast. Okay, now I'm going to get Guten print. sudo pacman s and it's guten print yes okay that'll be good getting all these printer drivers now let's sort out q BitTorrent or whatever it's called q what is it what's this q for oh yeah that's that thing q maybe it's an accessory Ah, uh, now I don't know what it is. It's Q a bit. So it's not sound and video. It's not programming. It's not office. Ah, Q... It, of course, internet. Okay. Sorry, I'm stupid. I don't know why I didn't get that. Qubit Torrent is a file sharing program. When you run a torrent, its data will be made available to others by means of upload. Any content you share is your sole responsibility. Yeah, of course. So in other words, it's saying... I'll, I'll tell you what it's saying in a sec, wait. <laughs> For those who don't know, and yes, this is... It's a bit like an older version of uTorrent, actually. This this isn't 100% familiar to me. I'm just a bit like... Mm. Anyway, let's try and... Ah, I minimised what I didn't want to minimise. Okay, let's try and get this movie now. Watch now. So where is the torrent? Download.torrent. If your download doesn't start automatically, click here, say File. Now, let's see how this torrent application is sorted as. Okay. There we go. So what I want to do, so it's connecting to the seeds. General, oh, actually it is quite a bit like um, uTorrent. So what I actually want to do here is, and yep, there's ETA, how long it'll take. I don't want to download the whole movie, geez. What do you think this is? I just want the sample. So how do I... Content. Okay, it's actually usually called files rather than content. So let's just un uh, untick all of those. And try and get the sample. There we go. So it should be downloading at the 37 megabytes. Let me just see how it connects to peers and stuff. Yeah, very similar to the way um, BitTorrent works. Uh, no, uTorrent works. What am I talking about? Yeah, most of these guys are using uTorrent and BitTorrent. I've, you know what's funny? I've never used BitTorrent before. I do like that um, that speed icon there. Ooh. What does that do? I don't, I don't even know what that one did. And the download speeds are really good. Look at that. I mean, a megabyte per second. That's great. Anyway, the file is almost completed. So, oops. Got to... Shouldn't have gotten out of it like that. There we go. And then we'll try and open this file and just make sure it actually worked. Ah, here's something I'm not happy about. You right-click it, and it doesn't have um, open folder location. Now, that's what I'm really used to. I'm used to right-click, open folder location, and I'm not getting that there. So that's a bit annoying. So, let's just see if I can find this. Yeah. Opened. Actually, I'm wondering. 
I'm wondering if it actually is just that I was talking about opening the folder from up there. I don't know, actually. So let me go into sample, the tunnel, and let's just see if this plays. Where's my sound? I'm actually not getting any sound here. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is um, one of those uh, hidden camera found footage movies, so that's why it's got a bit of a shaky thing. Okay, media, let's see, audio track, track one, audio device, so maybe I've done something wrong here. So if I'm not getting any sound out of this program, I wonder if I'm going to get sound out of my other programs, like my music programs. So let's just see, because maybe an update has broken <laughs> my audio. So let's try out noise. Hmm, something weird is going on here. Something's definitely not right here with my audio. My speakers are on. I can confirm that. Uh, Clementine, let's try this. There we go. Something's going on here. Sound won't play. Oh, what have I done? It was working at one start. I don't know what exactly has stopped sound from working, because it was working before. Let me try Audacity then. Maybe it's something to do with a setting in Audacity. So sound and video Audacity. And then we'll work out what's going on. Maybe it's even this new screen recorder, simple screen recorder doing this. Okay, so let's see. Hello, hello. No, I've got to actually set my product, what I'm going to be recording with first. So let's say I want to use the USB audio up here. So front mic, I don't know, whatever. Hello, hello. Yep, that's getting the audio from my camera up here. Now I'll play. Error while opening the sound device. Please check the output device. Ah, so there's something wrong here with the output device. Pulse. No, not pulse. This weird thing. I'm not hearing anything. Okay, so obviously my audio has... has been stuffed up. I don't know what happened. It was working before. Okay. Now I've got to look up why my audio is not working. Arch Linux. No audio. Not this no audio thing again. What about that thing where you open the terminal and type in like salsa? Alsa? Pseudo Alsa? Uh. No. Nah. Okay, no sound in Arch Linux. This is annoying now, because this is one thing I don't like about Arch Linux. You set it all up, the audio works, and then it doesn't work after a while. So... I just wish I could figure this out. Where was that, um, Alsa... I remember there was some way I got sound before. Wait a sec. Maybe installing Wine has stuffed up my sound system. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with Wine because that's the last thing I remember doing. So let me just see if Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which doesn't seem to work unless I open it from its icon for some reason. Let's see if that has sound because I have a feeling this is definitely... um. Something because that's the only thing I can think of that I've actually installed. So, oh right, I've actually got to put in the disc. Okay, where is it? Here it is. 
So I'll just put in the disc and then just see if I get sound. Because, I mean, it was just working. Audio was working not long ago. I'll put that in. Close it up. And then we'll see if I get any sound. Hopefully I will. And if I don't, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Because <laughs> I need my sound. I can't... I'm not a person who just can go without sound. Okay. So once this sound works, let's see. I just don't know oh, how I can fix this. It's definitely using Alsa, as you can see there. Okay, so let's just quickly try um, see if sound works on the title menu. And then if it does, then this is completely a wine-based issue. The, the only thing I've got against this um, current window manager and settings I've got is that these little buttons keep disappearing from windows sometimes, and I don't know why they just keep disappearing. Anyway, let's see if sound works. And if it doesn't work, uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I have to disable something in Wine QT. Let's see, Wine Config. Actually, look at that. Audio is now not working. See, ever since I've done that update, okay, so I did an update between episodes and now... Oh, look at that, you can double click and it rolls windows up. Oh, that is so cool, I didn't even know, whoa. <laughs> okay, let me just quit though. I can't even quit. Okay, quit. I've got to work out how to get this sound going. Output device, yeah, it's got all this system default stuff. Yep, sound is so it's nothing to do with wine stealing the sound system or anything like that. Uh, what I might do is I might pause it now for a little while because I'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me try and get sound working again. So uh, let me just pause this. We're a simple screen recorder. I'll be back real soon. Okay, something I want to point out here that I've just kind of found. I was looking only for about five minutes or so. You can look at the time if you don't believe me of what it was before and what it is now. But it says, unfortunately my speakers is not working anymore on my machine. Yesterday everything was running fine, but I guess after today's update something must have happened. Unfortunately I don't know what kind of information I should provide. Uh, yeah, whatever. But anyway, the point, important thing is his sound isn't working after an update. Now... I saw this, does that do anything for you, and I tried doing that, no it didn't do anything for me, um, and all that stuff, and he said no, did not help either, however I noticed that sound is surprisingly working in Flash on websites, so I decided to test that out, and listen to this. Okay, so your goal is to survive one minute, as you can see, the longer you play a level though, the faster the ball's going to get, slowly over time, and you... Now the point here is... Flash on websites, yes, that is working for me. Now, why is Flash working on websites but sound in the system isn't working? So this is what we're now going to try and work out. And no, I actually haven't read what happens next. Check, your, check if your sound module is being loaded. How do I do that? Approach it from here. That shows that you have two capture devices. Well, let's try and let's try and work this out. Maybe it's something sound modules. What if I just type Alsa? Actually, no, that doesn't work. I've tried that already. Okay, make sure sound modules are loaded. So you've got oh, that's a lot of things here. Okay. And check with this command. So let's put in this command, copy and paste. Now let's see sound. The, this is why I don't like terminal applications. I look at this and I'm thinking, well, did it? Or is, is this good what I'm seeing, or is this not good what I'm seeing? So I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about this. This is a little bit confusing. What I might do is 
I might... I might get you guys to help me. Wait, maybe I need to load the manual. Ah, oh, I don't know. Wait a sec, so what am I looking for? You might want to check that directory. Maybe a reboot will fix it, I don't know. If you guys have any idea on how to fix this, then please tell me. I'm actually... Sorry, I always say this. I'm not feeling 100%. I was just working on Shift OS before, then I was like, oh, what? right, I've got to make a video. So I'm... My head's not in a reading mood right now. So if you guys know how to fix that, tell me. So what I'm going to now do is... No, I don't want to save changes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I'm able to get this printer working. So let's test this out. That terminal finish, so let's see, file, print, yeah, I'm not sure how to exactly get this printer working, so maybe I've got to try and download a specific driver, let's see. What was I looking? Cups, printer driver, is a database driven system, yeah. Well, there's another, yep. Maybe, let me just look at this Guten Print thing and just see if I can work out. Top quality driver for, yeah. Maybe, um, driver, what am I looking for? Drive, Can, Canon MG6150 Arch, and let's just see. There we go, this exact drive has been talked about before. Hi, I have this printer, I use it a lot and it worked perfectly in Ubuntu with that and, okay, with those drivers. I can't install the drivers from the AUR, however. That's odd. I solved the, okay, with the use of the Turbo Print driver, but it won't help me with the scanner. That's right, okay. See if these threads are in here. Let's see if the turbo print driver works. I'm not sure. Wait a sec. Let me just type in turbo, turbo print and see if that works. Yo, I'm just typing in this because, I don't know, I haven't had much luck. Turbo print, is that what it's called? Turbo print. Hopefully this works. Okay, there we go. One. And a high quality printer driver system for Linux. Okay. So we'll get that. And. Printing is always that thing I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know how to print. How do you specifically add a specific printer though? That's what I want to know. Uh, let me see. Add. Printer to Arch. HP Linux. So here are some printer drivers, but is there a specific step? So do I have to start that service? With the kernel modules installed, you can now start CUPS. Okay. System CTL start cups SD dot service. Okay, and then I've got to enable. Okay, well let's try that. Uh, do I want to edit? No. No. Yes. Okay. Now let's try this. Open a new terminal window, and I want to try and get system CTL start cup SD dot service. Oh, right. I've got to do sudo. I can see it's sudo because it uses a hash rather than the dollar sign. So let's do this. Okay, and now it wants us to enable. Ah, oh, so enabling isn't going to work now. sudo systemctl it's definitely enabled, that's the only difference between this and this. 
copy. Let me just try one more time. Paste. All right, pseudo. No. Okay, but that's the start. Maybe it's looking for a specific file there, so maybe that's why that's not working. Anyway, let me try this printing thing again. Print. Still doesn't have my printer in here. Uh, where's that printer gone? There must be some kind of thing. Configuring, cups administration. Maybe you have to create a group. Use element will be required when administrating the printer in the web interface, such as adding or removing printers, stopping printer tasks. Okay, well let's try this. Create the groups. Group add print admin. Okay, copy. And I need to do sudo paste print admin. Okay, create the groups, and then I want to create this group. Copy, paste. Oh, already exists. Okay. Add the users to the groups. For printer administration, yeah, I want printer administration. Paste, and I need to do sudo. And that might add my printer, I don't know, sudo. <laughs> username doesn't exist. Yep, I've got to actually put my username there, I forgot about that. Philip. Adding user Philip. Okay, so it did that. Now it must be restarted, so let's try restart it. Copy. Sudo, and now paste. Pretty sure that's restarted. Now, remote access to web interface can be accessed by the local host. Okay. To give remote. Oh, I'm a bit confused about all this. So let's set the default. How do you activate a printer? Is there a way to add a printer? Add a new printer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> List the devices. So let's try this one. Copy. L. Wait. Pseudo LP info. V. So those are the devices, but I have no idea what that means. Let's quickly list the drivers. Maybe you guys know what this means. Wait a sec. Make sure this is all. That's a lot of stuff it has to download there, okay. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Is my printer going to appear here? Wait a sec. Let me do that again. I just want to see if my specific printer is actually here. Because if it is, then wow, that would be great. Okay. Not, I'm seeing Xerox. Is there a Canon? Laner. Where is Panasonic Lena? Kind of stops here and it won't let me actually see if there's a cannon at the top. Is there a way to change the actual like amount of things that can. Okay, scroll back lines, let's change that to 10,000. <laughs> that was actually really simple to do that. Okay, paste. Now let's try and go up. Lena, oh, are you kidding me? Still can't do it. Pixma, actually, here we go. Brother, Canon, Canon. I don't know if any of those Canons though is my Canon that I specifically need. That's the only issue here. See that it's got. Oh wait a sec, there's some more Canons. Expert Canon. Canon, oh, wait a sec. So, Canon MG. Can you control F and search for stuff? Ah, uh, you can't. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to have any luck looking through this. Wait a sec. Yes. 
Okay, so it's installing that. Now, let's see if I can print stuff yet. Print. Still can't print stuff. Dang it. I need to work out how to print stuff. Okay, well that's all that stuff. Add a new printer. But how do I know which one is my printer? Uh, add wire, wireless print printer arch connect to existing wireless printer okay let's see there is a wireless printer on the Wi-Fi network I'm using it is already configured detected by my Windows machines I'd like to use it on Arch Linux. Surprisingly, I never had to do that before. So to be clear, I don't want to configure it. What most Google write, I just want to, I just need to use it. Okay, it's not my printer. I won't start changing the configuration or installing a printer server for it. I'm just here for a few days. Okay, I installed LB and the HP drivers. Not really a fan of entering the IP address. I found the IP of the printer and modify the configuration file too. So maybe I need to do some configuration files. So maybe, let me actually see if I can access my modem and stuff from this. So I think it's routerlogin.net or something. HTTP. That should technically get me into my router. Ah, there we go. So, uh, what is it? Ah, so maybe... Wait a sec. Got it. Okay, good. Let's see if I can do this. If I can see attached devices... And maybe if I can find the attached devices, then I'll be able to find the printer. So there's my um, Adventures in Arch. That's this computer that you're seeing here. But what's this? Is that my printer? Wireless intruders also show up here. Maybe that's my printer because it doesn't have a device name. So I'm guessing that must be the printer because there's nothing else no other computer that's being used right now in the house that I know of. So, maybe there's a setting on my printer. Let's see, set up. There's maintenance, wireless LAN set up, device settings. Can you actually, okay, wait, wait a sec, LAN settings, I'm just going on my device now. Um, just to show you what this is actually doing here, wait a sec. I'll show you. If I take this camera from up off here, and you have a little look here, this is on my printer, and it actually has a little screen here that lets you do certain things. So what I'm gonna try to, ah, oh, and just my luck it would be back to front because that's the way I set it. But anyway, what I wanna do is I wanna try and change the, on my printer, Change this, let's see, wireless LAN active. <laughs> Oops, maybe I shouldn't be doing all this stuff. <laughs> wireless LAN active. Well, I definitely want it to do that. Confirm. Wireless LAN setup. Easy setup. Search, okay, so then you just do the whole, yeah, what it is, Netgear, then enter the path phrase, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, and that's that set up again, okay. Uh, I'm really confused, I don't know how to do this or what to do. So, that looks like it's installed now, let's just open Abbey Word and hope that it works which it most likely won't, yeah. Okay, how do I add a printer? If I can try and find this. 
So add a printer. The printer is up to you. The device can be retrieved. Okay. From that LP info I command. The device can be okay. Well, let's see. Maybe I need to do this. Listen. No, <laughs> that doesn't get you there. Maybe if I do localhost. Ah, there's cups. Okay, so I figured that one out. There's cups. Oh, what? Apple? No, what happened to cups? Okay, there we go. Cups. <laughs> Developed by Apple Inc. Okay. So, overview of cups. Adding printers and classes. Okay, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to add a printer. Username and password. Would it just be that? No, nope. okay, that didn't work. Maybe I need my actual Arch username. Unable to access the printer forbidden. Why is that forbidden? Find new printers. No, no printers found. Manage printers. I have no printers. Oh, I don't know what you do. How do you add a printer here? And why am I forbidden? <sighs> Cups add printer error forbidden. Let me just see. Cups add printer error forbidden. Unable to add a printer forbidden. Let's try and work this one out. And if I can't work this out, I'm going to have to end the video here because it's starting to go on for a bit long. Okay, I'm following up the setup. Your printer, when I go for cups, I get... Okay. You didn't forget this step, did you? Go to administration and log in as root. Go to administration, log in as root. Go to okay. Well, let me see that then. Administration. And where do you log in? Go to administration. Log in as root. Not seeing view access log. Well, there's that. But I that doesn't really tell me anything. That's useful to me. There's a cups configuration file. Shared printers, allow remote administration, allow printers, users to cancel any jobs, I see. Why can I not add a printer now? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need help with this, because I was, I was going okay, but I just can't work this out. So, I will see you, wait, wait, let me, let me officially end this video off. So I'll close all the tabs. What? What? No, 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 don't stop seeing. Wait, wait. I'm really confused now. Wait a sec. Let me. How do I stop? Stop. Pause. Yeah, let me just pause that because I'm really confused. Is sound now working? Just randomly, out of the blue. Okay, so sound issue is fixed. There we go. Let me... Clarentine, stop playing music. Is Clarentine gone? Here we go. Stop this. Okay. Now let me open this file location. File location. Open destination folder. Now let's just see if this works. Must be going missing. This was a big story. And it was a really important one. It works. <laughs> So, I've got sound now. That's great. With our BitTorrent kind of, or QBitTorrent, or whatever you want to call it, that was a success. So, downloading things worked. I got my audio working again, but I just can't get the printer working. So, I need your help. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Adventures in Arch Linux. Now, 
it was a half failure, half success because I got my sound working again. I don't know how. Tell me in the comments how that sound suddenly magically started working all of a sudden. That's something I want to know. So how did the sound start working? Um, number two, the whole torrent client with um, the Q... Yeah, that... Wait a sec. The whole torrent thing worked really well. I'm sorry, I'm so dark. Um, and printing, I just couldn't work that out at all. I don't know how people are supposed to print when it's so complicated. I wish you could just go, hey, yep, here's my printer, put in a CD, here's a drive, boom. Or if you could use wine to get the printing working, but doesn't seem to work for me, unfortunately, because I haven't tried wine yet, but I really don't think wine would work because it wouldn't be integrated into the actual proper programs and stuff. If it was a virtual machine, maybe that would work with printing, but then again, I know how to print on Windows 7 uh, or on Windows. I need to get this printing working in Arch Linux. So show me or tell me how to do that in the comments next episode and we'll give it a go next episode and maybe do something else next episode as well that isn't so difficult. Like all this conky and stuff is difficult. Maybe just try out a few programs made for Arch Linux. Maybe that, that would be a bit more simple. So if there's any kind of programs, I don't know, music making programs, maybe not video editing, because that's a bit in-depth, I'd want to devote a whole episode to that. Any other kind of programs you can think of, maybe not games though, because I have done games already, but I might do some more games in the future if you want to see that. But yeah, how do I get my printer working, and what would be a good program to try out next episode that isn't complicated? See you next time. Bye. <laughs>